Award-winning sex researcher Virginia Johnson has died. She was one half of the pioneering team of Masters and Johnson. As Jan Crawford reports, they brought a taboo subject into the open in the name of science. In the late 1950s, Virginia Johnson was a twice-divorced mother of two with no college degree, working as a secretary at Washington University in St. Louis. There, she met obstetrician William Masters and became his lover and research assistant. They made it uh, acceptable in polite society to talk about aspects of sexuality by using the medical terms, the clinical terms. And uh, they really changed the whole conversation in America about sex. Journalist Thomas Mayer wrote their biography, Masters of Sex. Their studies uh, underline the power of female sexuality, and she was a big part of that. Their research, now the subject of a Showtime series, was possible because Johnson personally recruited hundreds of women to have sex in their St. Louis clinic while hooked up to machines that measured their physical responses. It was the first time scientific methods were applied to the study of sex. Their 1966 book, Human Sexual Response, became a bestseller and made them household names. They authored several more books, but one of their last, released during the height of the AIDS epidemic, was condemned for its alarmist tone and misinformation about HIV transmission. When the future of a population is perhaps um, to some degree at stake, then I think that there has to be a, a very definitive, very strong stand taken to reverse those years of complacency. The couple married in 1971, but Masters left her for another woman and divorced Johnson after 20 years of marriage. He died in 2001. She became really the genius behind their sex therapy, which revolutionized the way in which uh, sex clinics throughout America and throughout the world uh, treated married couples that were having difficulties in the bedroom. Johnson died Wednesday at an assisted living facility in St. Louis. She was 88 years old. For CBS This Morning, Jan Crawford, Washington.